Last year, Nintendo launched the NES Classic, a $60 time capsule boasting some of that console's best games. This year, the company's doing it again. This is the SNES Classic, Nintendo's latest game collection in a box. And it continues the tradition with about 21 classic games representing some of the best of the 16-bit era. It's a lot of fun to play with just a few compromises. Okay, first off, let's talk about the console itself. It's basically a tiny version of the original Super Nintendo. Most every detail is there, including things like the cartridge flap, even if it's just for show. You can charge it with micro USB, and all it takes is an HDMI out for the TV. The front cover itself is actually a flap hiding the real controller inputs, which are the same as NES Classic. As for the controllers themselves, they're more or less identical to the original Super Nintendo gamepads. Seriously, it's kind of hard to tell the difference in person. Even the clickiness feels about the same. Uh, the only catch there is that the cord measure is about four and a half feet long. It's longer than the NES Classic controllers, but much shorter than our original Super Nintendo pads. And for many TV setups, it's not guaranteed to reach your couch comfortably, if frankly at all. Now, the software itself is super easy to navigate. There are three display modes, CRT, 4x3, and they're very sharp pixel perfect. However, honestly, we spent most of the time playing in CRT, which not only felt more true to the games, but also hid some of the jankiness of a few titles. The game selection is great, and seriously, there isn't really a bad title among here. There are both pick-up-and-play games like Mario Kart, as well as more involved RPGs like Final Fantasy VI and Earthbound. And you can also check out Star Fox 2, which was a never-before-released game, but it's more of like an ambitious academic title than it is something I think you're going to play too much. For each game, you can have four suspend points, which lets you basically save anywhere and pick up where you left off later. You can also rewind the game about a minute into the past, which is a pretty neat feature, but getting to it requires going back to the home menu, and getting to that means literally hitting the reset button on the console. That's also the only way to switch between games, which I get is kind of a throwback, but it's also just annoying. But that aside, the Super Nintendo Classic is maybe the best way to play some of the best games of all time, and most of them really hold up. For $80, even if you like only a handful of games, it's probably worth considering. I mean, that is, of course, if you can actually find one.